Hey everybody, we are finally almost through those Amazon customer returns. We need a break, okay? We've been hitting those returns pretty hard. It's time to do a little something different and I thought it would be fun to rearrange behind the cash register. This area here tends to get cluttered up. We do a lot of work back here and it's time to make this look a little better. The first thing I'm gonna do, start emptying some of these top shelves. I'm gonna get the turtles down. I'm gonna move the Toy Story display. I'm gonna take it home. It's time to switch that up. And this side over here, it just needs completely redone, okay? A pretty good thing to do to kind of unplug from the returns. Don't get me wrong, there's still some returns left. We've got a couple tubs back here and there are some random boxes laying around. But for the most part, we've knocked these returns out. I'm pretty sure we're gonna stay away from Amazon returns. For a store like ours, it's not really worth it. Now, if you were doing flea markets or if you were doing secondhand, maybe gently used product, returns might be your gig. We're done talking about returns. I said we weren't gonna talk about them. Let's get going on this project. It'll be a little something different, <laughs> a way to just step back and I think it'll look a lot better when we're finished. Okay, here we go. Starting off, moving my little squishy squishies I've been collecting. Those things are pretty neat. And it was time for a change back here. I have a box somewhere for this display. Very neat, right? Toy Story 3 display. I need to get this boxed up. Moving these turtles around, we have to make a little bit of room. We have three or four more of these big NECA figs to go. And I'm thinking right up here will be the perfect spot. I could go two ways with this. I've got the wire shelving I could use, or I could do kind of what I'm calling a traditional shelf, a six footer. I think I'm gonna keep it the same throughout the whole display. I think I'll use the traditional shelf. I've got one laying right back there. It should be a little bit easier to do it that way. Just keep it all the same. At first I thought maybe I would use this two foot wire shelving. And then once I got it up there, I was like, eh, I don't think so. So I went ahead, put up a few more brackets for the slat wall shelving. I'm not sure why I kept calling it traditional shelving. It's just slat wall shelving, or it might even have a different name, but I got it back up there and it looks pretty good. The front on that van keeps falling down. I'll have to put a piece of tape up there, but it looks a little bit better. We're still missing Foot Clan, Shredder, and Trench Coat, Raphael. I've got a big space right there. Should be pretty easy to fill. This is very crowded right here. All those little toys that you're seeing, I give those away on birthdays, special occasions, things like that. Once I got the major things done, all that was really left to do is kind of clean up a little bit, rearrange these figures, move some stuff around. And it was pretty crowded up here. I went ahead and did the Batmans, got them up on the top shelf because the shelf down below, kind of where I'm putting the acrylic shelves here, I like to use it for birthday giveaways. But right now I'm putting these squishy dealios back. I really like these things. And it seems like every target load, there's a different one in there. But anyway, back down to this lower shelf, just really kind of filling it in here, making it look good. It looks a lot better, a lot more organized, just really neat. We're gonna jump into the other side, kind of speed run it, get through it, and then we'll go grab some lunch. I didn't really change the top part of this too much. I left the big Superman and that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. This side's a little bit different because the full six foot shelf won't fit across here. So it looks really weird. You've got these gaps right here. I'm gonna try some of the clear acrylic shelving that we had on the Funko wall. Maybe try to fill this gap in right here. Then I'm gonna replace this shelf with probably another four footer. Definitely wanna clean all of this up. It looks pretty bad. This area right here, it just needed cleaned up and I'm pulling off all these stuffies. And there is my Richard Simmons stuffy. Rest in peace there, Richard Simmons. And basically, it was just a real bunch of clutter back here. I'm looking at Nerf guns, random hanging lantern, and yeah, not much more really to say about it. Just some general cleanup needed to happen. 
And again, I'm using these acrylic shelves that came off the old Funko wall. We moved the Funko wall. I made a video about it. I think it was called RIP Funko wall. We now have, ouch, that's like nails on a chalkboard. We now have all our Lego where the Funko wall used to be. I think it looks a lot better. On the second shelf here, I've got figs that are missing accessories. A good example are these Super 7 Power Rangers. I really like the box on these. So they might look pretty cool just back here chilling. A couple cool boxes just hanging out on the shelf. And that's kind of what we're going for, right? I'm trying to think what it looked like before, but it's got to look a little bit better. It didn't take as long as I thought. A couple hours to get in here, get this cleaned up. But what's everybody think? Looks a lot better, right? It has to. Now I still need to get all this cleaned up. I got to straighten up the register here, fix all of that. But definitely a big improvement. One thing I want to touch on, see the blank spaces above the walls here. We are working with someone to get some stickers, something we can put on there and then take off and it doesn't destroy the wall. That's the big key. I'm looking at this and there's something I don't like. I'm going to take out that four foot shelf there and put a couple of the two foot wire shelves in here. It looks, it doesn't look good with that shelf right there. Everything else is wire. I'm going to put wire there. Once I got everything put back up, of course, right? I decided I didn't like how this looked. It just didn't feel like it was symbiotico or whatever. It did look like it all matched. So I decided I wanted to take this little four foot slat wall shelf down, throw up the two foot wire shelves I just had kind of laying around. Need to kind of use those up, right? But there it is, put the wire shelves up and I like it, it looks pretty good. I don't know why and I need to finish it, but I think that looks a little bit better than having that random piece of slap board shelving in there. The little side project we started this morning about finished up. There's some cleanup to do. Gotta straighten some things up back there. For the most part, it looks way better. It looks a lot more organized. Like I said, just a little cleanup down here. I'm gonna be looking to do the same thing back here above the figure wall. When we get some more big ticket items, I want a place to put them. So I will probably just move this picture down a little bit, put a set of shelves up right there, and we should kind of be able to do the same thing. Since we're back here in the area, let's look at what's left on the Amazon returns. Recycle these boxes, some throwaway, and I believe these two tubs plus some tubs back there, those are full of Amazon returns. But for the most part of that little project done, just got to do the cleanup. That's pretty much where we're at. The Amazon returns basically finished. Just cleanup work left. I thought for sure we would be getting the new shelf pull overstock Amazon stuff today, at least one load. We have three Amazon buys out there that we are waiting on. These are toys that are supposed to be in new condition shelf pulls, overstock, whatever you want to call it. I really wanted a break from the return video, so that's what we have today. I think that's going to be it. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Until next time, I will see you later. Peace!